right there. Now drop your rod tip down, find the bottom, and this give it little shakes like this. So you're just lightly swimming the minnow. There you got one. Okay, so today I'm gonna to show you uh, how to clean a walleye. The first thing I like to do when cleaning a walleye here is, is uh, you lift these two fins back and you simply angle your knife so it's not going through the scales. You're going back, back into them like so and you go right down to the, the bone here. Our next step is push straight through right down the backbone so I miss this fin, this fin here and this fin here. It'll be flat right, right to here and then I'm gonna stop and flip the flay down. And you simply just take your knife all the way down to the end of the fish, and I prefer not to cut the end off. Some people like to cut it off. The next step is to just skin them. You simply just take your knife, and you just, you just take your knife and push it through the fish like this. All fish cleaning is just push your knife through. Just let your knife do the work. So I'm right down on the skin, and I just slide her right through. There's the rib bones here and there's a set of Y bones. And to, I'm gonna show you how to take them both out at the same time. So what I'm gonna do is, you see the fish has got a, a center line here. I'm gonna be on the rib side and I'm just gonna score my knife right down to the bones. And, and I simply just go right down the ladder line of the fish and I, I'm just laying my knife in there and I simply turn it and go down. And it'll take me a couple swipes here. Just, twist like that and then I go right down the other side of the lateral line take that off and here's your boneless piece of meat here's your ribs you can see there's no meat on there and here's your little strip of Y bones all out at one time and now you got a boneless piece of meat and you simply to get them in strips you simply just cut them like that it's ready to go no bones now we're on to the other side. Same as the other side, we're going to angle our knife in like this so we're not going down on the scales. We're going back up into them. And this helps you get more meat too as well. Now I'm right at the, the backbone. And then it's simply turn your knife and follow it, the angle of the fish all the way down through right to there's your spot. So we simply just right to the end of the spot there. And then we're going to flip them open. And then this, this step here is lay your knife and push through. So you get my knife down to the skin here, and then it's simply just slide her through. I'm gonna be on the rib side, and I, I just simply take my knife and cut down to the ribs. So th that's what I'm doing right there. And now I just lay my knife and twist it like, like this. And I'm just following the bones. And then here's the other, here's the line of the fish here. We're gonna go right on that side. And that's gonna, that's gonna take the ribs and the Y bones out at the same time here. And we simply just rip her in half and it's boneless, ready for the frying pan. And there's a hidden golden nugget on these fish as well. This is called the wingding. And now we're gonna show you, it's like the shrimp a lake of the woods. I'm gonna show you guys how to take this out and make it a tasty little, little piece. So I simply just take my knife here, cut it down, and now I got it laying flat. And now I'm gonna cut this, skin this piece of skin off. So I simply just cut it off just like so. And now you got a tasty little, it's like eating shrimp out of lake of the woods. They're pretty much all cleaned up, ready to go now. White as can be. Today we're gonna go the route of shore lunch. We're gonna cook some spuds up. We'll whip a little batter up and put our eight ounces in, six, seven, eight. We'll throw our fish in there. So I got my fish batter all mixed up here. We're gonna go outside and do some cooking now. All right, we're gonna fire this bad boy up. It's done probably two, probably five or six shore launches in the day. Yeah. 
I hope you guys are hungry because then you're probably gonna have leftovers. Okay, now I'm down to the shrimp of the lake here. They're going in. All fried up, now it's pretty much uh, ready to go. So we got potatoes, fish, beans, about all the essential things for shore lunch. Funded by the Minnesota Arts and Cultural Heritage Fund with money from the vote of the people of Minnesota on November 4, 2008. And by the members of Prairie Public.